Now that we have the internals of our differential assembled, we're gonna install axle bearings and axle seals so we can install some axles. Yay! This is my new axle bearing. I'm gonna start by adding some gear oil. I have a correct size driver and we're gonna seat it all the way down in its bore. And probably wanna come in, I've got a couple little burrs here. They're not too bad, but if there are any that are significant, you want to file those down. It doesn't really matter what way you install them. They're just straight bearings, so either way will work. But you wanna get them in there to where they bottom out. Noise changes when it bottoms out. I'm gonna change my driver handle slightly larger to install the seal. Before we install the seal, I'm gonna clean out the bore. Just wipe it, wipe it down a little bit. Just like with a pinion seal, I'm gonna take a little bit of RTV and put it on the outside. This is a black oil resistant RTV. And clean up the mess. I'm gonna take a little bit of trans lube here, or grease will work on the inside of this seal. So that way it doesn't start out dry. Repeat on the other side. TV on the seal. Now for the lube. This differential is going to be rear disc. So I'm going to install the caliper mounting brackets onto the axle tubes. By the way, these are marked left and right. Now I'm gonna remove the centering pin uh, to get it ready to install my new axles. And I have to be careful with this because I could ratchet myself into a corner. Centering pin removed. I'm gonna dial this open so that I have access to this area so I can drop my C-clips in more easily. Suppose we ought to put some studs in here. There's a sticker on my axle. I don't really wanna leave that in there to come apart inside the differential to create gobbledygook. I tried peeling it off, it wasn't nice. Now we'll try the wire wheel. I'm really glad they only did that to one axle. Going for this tried and true method. One studded axle. Freshly studded axle. Now that we have studs, very carefully not to damage the seal. Run this all the way in. And then hopefully, there we go. Splining up inside there. Duke.
I have brand new C-clips to go with my brand new axles and my brand new differential with my brand new gears. Slip it down in there and watch it fall through. Now that it's in, I'm gonna pull the axle out until the bottom's out. Same with the other side. Once again, be super careful not to damage that seal. Just make sure you lift up on the end of it. Slip that C-clip in there. A C clip clip will fit in that cup inside that spider gear. Now we got to rotate it around so we can install the uh, centering pin again. And it looks like the bolt is there. Make sure that that hole is at the top. And this should keep the axles from falling out. 25 foot pounds for this bolt. And it's not easy to get onto. Just saying. And it feels like it's stripping. I gonna hand tighten this and if you can get a torque wrench down in there, good on you. But the last thing I wanna do is mess this up happy with it there. It's got Loctite on it, it's not going anywhere. I'm now going to install my piece of jewelry. This adds support to the case, it also supports the bearings. You need to back these bolts out all the way because it's got these pads that make contact with the back of the bearings right here. And you want to make sure when you tighten it down that they're not going to make contact, so loosen them up all the way. It's a quarter inch, by the way. I'm also gonna remove these nuts temporarily because I'm gonna put a little bit of RTV down at the bottom of these threads before I run this down to help seal it. But this way, when I install this cover, these won't be making contact with the bearings at all. Not until we're ready and we want them to. Came with its own bolts and washers. The instructions also explicitly state, this came with a gasket. Do not use RTV with this gasket. So just use the gasket. I'm gonna follow their instructions. Looks like that'll go on there nicely. These are T6s. I'm just gonna take one and get it started. There we go. Then I'll be able to thread the rest of them in. It doesn't say to put any Loctite on these or anything. These all get torqued 20 to 25 foot pounds. I'm already set up for 25 here, so it's gonna go in that same crisscross pattern. In fact, I'm gonna go to 10 first. All right, 15. Right, well, I got the correct size socket. It's a quarter inch Allen. Uh, and I didn't want to mess up these threads. So now we will take it to the full 25. Now it's time to run down the load bolts, but before I do, I'm gonna put a bead of silicone around the threads down at the base here, so when it threads in, it'll uh, also seal up the threads.
trickier than it looks. Going to run these down until they make contact, then they get tightened 5 to 10 foot-pounds. How about we just go for 7? Let me run down the lock nuts. This is where it gets a bit tricky because these should go to 25 to 30 pounds, but I don't want to run these down anymore. The ones that I just did, I just want to lock these into place. I'm going to see if maybe I have a wrench that can go down in there, but I don't know. I don't think I do. I don't have that wrench. Um, so I'm just going to tighten these lock nuts to, uh, they're 25 to 30. I'm going to go for 25. Or how about we go to 27? That wasn't hard. Good enough. That's pretty much assembled. Covers on, axles are in, the thing is pretty much assembled except for these upper bushings. Uh, which I'm going to install now. And I believe we're just gonna hammer them into place. And they go through about up to here. They don't go all the way, but about up to there. I am going to use uh, some of the crudest methods there are. Um, this is an old socket that I use on my press and for hammering stuff. As I said, I'm gonna just drive this through till it's about halfway through. I don't see putting any sealer or any of that kind of stuff on it but I just need it uh, part way through so that I can attach the upper control arms. This is awkward. I'm trying to get it equidistant. Feels pretty good there. Looks good there. Well, there you have it. Set up and final assembly of the 8.8 .8 differential. Now, this is very similar to a GM 12 bolt. So you can use this information for that as well. I'm gonna put links in the description to additional information, including gear tube patterns and all that stuff. Anyway, if you have automotive questions not covered in this video, please head over to airatthecarguy.com and use the resources there. Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.